born, July 1, 1916 best known for, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Gone with the Wind, and two Oscar-winning performances, To Each His Own, and, The Heiress, first claim to fame, Gossip magazines offered endless coverage of her feud with sister Joan Fontaine, which lasted for decades second, and more important, claim to fame, she helped end the old studio system. While under a seven-year contract with Warner Brothers, she refused several roles and was suspended multiple times. When her contract ended, WB said she still owed them six months, for the time off during suspension. She made the unprecedented move of suing the studio and the judge agreed with her, saying the system was one of peonage. On March 15, 1944, Variety ran the headline, De Havilland Free Agent. Her career flourished after that, and actors were no longer beholden to studios, which empowered them and their agents in all future negotiations. Third claim to fame, she's 104. The last remaining star of old Hollywood. Even better, she was recently photographed riding a bicycle. They don't make them like her anymore. Autobiography, Every Frenchman Has One, 1962, and still in print Deeper Dive, there are few veterans of Hollywood's golden age who are still around, much less still making headlines. But Olivia de Havilland, who turns 104 Wednesday, was always a rule breaker. She's part of the current furor over, Gone with the Wind, since she is the only surviving star of the 1939 epic. In 2017, she also sued FX Networks over her depiction in the miniseries, Feud, Betty and Joan, from exec producer Ryan Murphy. After a series of appeals, the court ultimately decided against de Havilland. The ruling represents a rare defeat for her, but serves as a reminder that the actress is not going to take any nonsense from anyone. Variety in 1944, she tackled the studio system, by filing suit against Warner Brothers. Her victory helped bring an end to the studio system, and redefine the business of moviemaking. At 19, de Havilland made her film debut in the 1935, A Midsummer Night's Dream, WB signed her to a seven-year contract, which was standard for actors. WB put her in such films as, Captain Blood, and, The Adventures of Robin Hood, both with Errol Flynn. But she wasn't always happy with the studio's assignments and WB suspended her multiple times. When de Havilland's contract expired, Warner Brothers claimed it was owed an additional six months of work, for the time off during suspension. She countered that the contract was for seven years, not for the time actually spent working. Superior Court Judge Charles S. Burnell agreed with her, saying otherwise the contract was a form of peonage. On March 15, 1944, Variety ran the headline, De Havilland Free Agent. That set in motion the system that remains today, when actors, agents and guilds could call the shots when making a deal.